This video tutorial will focus on how to create a frequently asked questions document in a wiki and then how to um, link up text within a wiki page using anchors and links so that uh, the frequently asked questions document is easy to navigate. So the first thing that we'll need to do is create a wiki and I'm using wiki spaces uh, from which I have an account. So I'll simply click on create a new wiki and then I need to give my wiki a name and this will be a frequently asked questions document for Twitter and so I'm going to create a free account with higher education and it'll take me then to a welcome page the next thing I need to do then is start editing my wiki so I go into edit mode and I can simply then highlight all this welcome information and delete it now I find the easiest way to get the uh, information into the wiki is to first create it in a Word document and then copy and paste that information into the wiki. And so that's what I've done. I have a Word document here, uh, getting to know Twitter, frequently asked questions. You'll notice that I have questions on the top of the wiki, or I'm sorry, the top of the Word document, a uh, list of the questions, and then below you can see the questions and the answers. So this is what we will link up. We'll link the question with the question and the answer and we'll do that in the wiki once we copy this in there. So next I'll just go ahead and select all the information, copy that, and go over to my wiki page and I will paste that information in there. Uh, before I go any further I want to go ahead and save this page and then I'm going to actually name the page. So now that I've saved it you can see that my the name of my page is called Home, and I'm going to uh, rename that uh, to something more meaningful. To do that, I'm going to go into Manage My Wiki, and I'm going to select Pages. Here's my page. I can click on Rename, and I'm going to call this Frequently Asked, if I can spell, Questions. And I'm going to click Rename and there's my page. So I'm going to go back to my page and now what I need to do is get back into edit mode and we'll start linking up the questions with the questions and answers down here. Now to do this you can use something called an anchor. Now an anchor is a way to link one part of a page to another. Uh, they're often used at the top of a page so that people can jump directly to a section that's further down the page without having to scroll to find it. Now anchors have two parts uh, the first part is the anchor point, and this is the place that you're linking to. And so to create an anchor point, you need to go to the part of the page where you want to the link to uh, jump to. And again, this is usually located further down the page. So in this case, we'll link up this first question, what is Twitter? And to create an anchor point, I'm just going to click to the left of this question. And I'm going to type in two left brackets. I'm going to type in the pound sign and then I need to give my anchor a name and I'm just gonna um, call it Twitter question mark and then you need to uh, end it with two closed brackets now once you've done this then um, you go up and create the actual link so then I will scroll to the top of the page and I wanna link the question what is Twitter with the answer which is where I just created my anchor point so um, I will highlight the text um, that I want to use as my link and then I'll click on the link button on the toolbar and it has this little chain here. Um, I'll, I'll stay on this first tab for page or file and the text I'm going to link is what is Twitter. It's already in here since I have it highlighted and um, I have the correct wiki. That's the name of my wiki. Now I need to select the page that I want this link to appear. And so I'm going to go in and it's Twitter FAQs and it says link to anchor and I do want to select that and then I just need to put in the name of the anchor that I just created and in this case it was Twitter question mark. I'll click add link and now if I would go to save my page I can actually test this out. So now when I click on my question what is Twitter? you'll see that it takes me directly down to the anchor point that I created which is lists the question and the answer. So let's just take a look at that one more time. This time I will um, 
well, how to, um, we'll link to how do I post a picture to Twitter. So I'm going to scroll down and find uh, where that question is. And here it is, how do I post a picture to Twitter. So again, to create my anchor point, I want to put in two left brackets, the pound sign, and I'm going to name this anchor point picture and put two right brackets in. Then I'm going to scroll up to my question and... Here it is. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to link to the. I'm going to create a link now. And again, here's the text that I'm going to link. I need to select the page, link to an anchor, and in this case, it's called Picture. Click Add Link. And again, if I want to test this out, I need to either preview it or save it. When I'm in edit mode, my links aren't going to work, so I'm just going to save it. And now to test it out, I'll click on my question. And you can see at the very top of the page then, it moves down to the question and the answer. A couple other reminders about frequently asked question pages. Um, graphics are great as far as explaining what you're looking for. So this question is talking about how do I know who I'm following? And it talks about in the answer, the follow button will change to a green check mark next to the word following. So you can see this is a great example of that. And then in addition, uh, at the end of my, um, my wiki page here, I have a section, a help section, um, about if people are still have questions about things, what they can do. They can read an introduction to Twitter. There's different video podcasts and blog posts that I can link them to. There's a forum they can go to. There's another a podcast they can listen to here, which go over the goes over the details of how Twitter works. And then finally, they could email me for um, additional questions or suggestions, and there's my email address. So as you're creating your frequently asked questions, uh, keep those additional things in mind.